Well, good morning, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope you guys are all having a great finally freaking Friday. This is it, man. This is the last weekend before the NFL draft. This time next week, we will be talking about whom the Cowboys drafted in the first round or traded out of the first round to go elsewhere. And I can't wait. I can't wait because I've got my mailman right there. He is ready to rock and roll. We've got prime time. He's ready to rock and roll. And Chef David Wiley, we're ready to hit the road to go to the draft. And in the meantime, where we have a daily deluge of replacing Dak Prescott, and I know the trolls and the haters out there are all definitely hoping and praying that that happens. I know the Eagle fans where he is 9-4. and four. And you know what's funny? You know what's funny about this is I'm sitting here listening to some of the haters that are like, oh, yeah, well, you know, 9-4. and four. You, know, you know how many times that we were already you know, done and we packed it in? And it's like, yeah, that goes both ways, bro. That goes both ways. The 9-4 and four record. I think it was only one game, one game that you guys had had things locked up and that you didn't play your starters. I'm just saying. And mind you, one of those games that you did win was the reverse. So it kind of cancels each other out. But be that as it may, we'll just leave it at that. But we have some more news, more movement on the Dak Prescott case. Per Clarence Hill of the Fort Worth Star Telegram. Uh, telegram. You, you know, do, do even you guys really even know what a telegram used to be? A telegram? That's uh, why, why are they still a telegram? Telegram was like they'd have a wire and they'd be. Dee, 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 dee. Okay, all right. Anyway, Dak Prescott has met with police in an interview. We reported their criminal behavior to the Prosper Police Department and have fully been cooperating with them, attorney Levi McLaren said per Hill. When Mrs. Shores doubled down on her false claim of sexual assault and reported it to the Dallas uh, Police Department, we proactively reached out to, uh, to cooperate with them as well. Dak has nothing to hide, he did nothing wrong, and he has been willing to continue to fully cooperate with any investigation, knowing the truth is on his side. The incident allegedly happened in early 2017. While it's too late for sexual assault lawsuit to be filed against Prescott, other civil claims have been made. It all started because the alleged victim attorney contacted Prescott and demanded $100 million to settle her claims. Prescott decided to sue the alleged victims and her lawyers. It is an usual and aggressive move by Prescott. However, it's kind of reaction that is consistent with true innocence. The wrongfully accused don't hide behind the right to remain silent. They shout their positions from the rooftop, which Prescott has done. So ultimately... We're going to see what happens with this and see how justice moves. Um, we had, shout out to my man, um, Dak Attack. Uh, last week, the uh, plaintiff had actually dismissed, uh, filed to dismiss her case in Dallas County to move it to the same locale as Dak Prescott's lawsuit, countersuit. And um, once the two suits were filed, the police, of course, started to open an investigation on both both sides of this. And, of course, Dak Prescott has gone through and been interviewed and given his point of view. I'm sure the police will do the same with the alleged victim as well and see if there's any there there to go there there with. And that's the latest that we have with this situation. Um, if Dak Prescott did anything wrong, then he should pay for it, as should anybody who wrongly does something to someone else. On the flip side, those who make false allegations and slander an individual should also be paying if that's exactly what they're doing. Understand that this is no joke that you can hurt a person's reputation. Um, when you think about Des Bryant's situation some years ago, 
when he was in the process of being uh, in his contract, Mike Furrio came out and said there might be, he just literally said there might be a tape out there that's 10 times worse than Ray Rice. And understand, saying it might be, it started a whole firestorm that went throughout the NFL, where if you look up Des Bryant tape, you will still find all kinds of stuff out there where he was literally slandered of supposedly beating up somebody in a Walmart parking lot. To this day, there is no tape. But unfortunately, what has been set in people's mind is that Des Bryant, you know, he beat up somebody. There's a tape out there. And the thing is, is typically when you get bad news that is big news, you talk about it. But generally speaking, when it ends up being that, oh, it, it, it was nothing and they're exonerated, very rarely do you hear anything about it. Um, yeah. And that's unfortunately sad because there's many, many, many people who have been slandered um, for things that they have not done, that they've been vindicated for, but in the court of public opinion, in people's minds, they will believe something that isn't actually there. All righty, good people. I've got some more work to do here around the Red Brick House before I get ready to roll to Detroit next week. Um, we'll be live streaming tonight, 9 o'clock Eastern, and I hope you guys will join us. We'll, of course, be talking about the draft and, of course, any new news on the Cowboys. And it seems like every day, every freaking day with the Dallas Cowboys, there's always something new. Yesterday's flavor of the day was Bill Belichick wants to coach for either the Giants, the Eagles, or the Cowboys. Seriously? I mean, all this stuff comes out of left field. Today, it's, of course, Dak Prescott being interviewed by the police and so on. So we'll see what the next shoe is to drop. You know, every day there's another quarterback, you know, idea to replace Dak Prescott. And it's just like, wow, what would the media, sports media be without the Dallas Cowboys? The gift that keeps on giving that literally is always the top topic in everybody's mouth when it comes to sports. I guess me being a Dallas Cowboy YouTuber, I'm in the right place because there's always something to talk about. As always, I appreciate you guys. We've got some new things that are in the works here uh, for you channel members, for you subscribers, and so on. So keep looking. We're going to keep on working, and I will talk to you guys real soon. Peace out.